Hello classmates, my name is Michelle and today I'll be sharing the interesting ways Terciops truncantis, also known as bottlenose dolphins, communicate with each other and how scientists come to these conclusions. Now this is just one study among many and there are still so many things to be discovered, especially about the way that bottlenose dolphins communicate with each other. A little bit of background on bottlenose dolphins are for one, they aren't endangered animals. There are roughly about 600,000 dolphins worldwide. Looking specifically at the Pacific Ocean, the bottlenose dolphin species can be found anywhere from Japan to Australia and from Southern California to Chile. Bottlenose dolphins migrate depending on food supply and water temperatures. Because dolphins like to stay in water temps that range anywhere from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So the journal that we are looking at today is by Jonik and Sage called Communication in Bottlenose Dolphins, 50 Years of Signature Whistle Research. The first time dolphins were able to be studied in the United States was back in 1948. And these dolphins were in captivity and not in their natural habitat. The way that scientists studied dolphins were using hydrophones, which were able to capture the sound underwater and with spectrograms, which were able to measure the sounds that they were making. They measured it by using frequency and time. Dolphins are mammals. These am animals travel and hunt in large groups. These large groups are called pods. When working together, they need to be able to communicate and recognize one another. Therefore, each bottlenose dolphin develops their own unique whistle called a signature whistle. Dolphins can emit an array of pitches to their signature whistle for many different reasons. Some of the reasons being to let their other dolphins know where they are, especially in times where they are separated or if they are in distress. They also let dolphins know their mental state. And they even use their signature whistle sometimes while hunting. What is a signature whistle and why is it used? A signature whistle is a learned and unique sound that gives an identity to that individual bottlenose dolphin. Signature whistles develop early in life and the study showed that the signature whistle can develop as early as three months old. A baby dolphin, which is known as a calf, develops their signature whistle by observing sounds around them and making sure their signature whistle doesn't sound like any others within that pod. Sometimes male calves develop similar whistles as their mothers. According to the Dolphin Research Center, they explain that sound in water travels up to 4.5 times faster than in air. So yes, Dolphins can come into physical contact and communicate with body language, but because of the rate of speed that sound travels in, scientists believe this is why sound is their primary source of communication. Throughout the research journal, it has been found that the signature whistle is primarily used for identification purposes, especially within the community of bottlenose dolphins. However, researchers found that the rate of the whistle can be given info about the stress levels. For example, researchers recorded the length and rate of a bottlenose dolphin whistle while temporarily captured or in low water levels. The whistle rate is higher rather than when they are in a free ocean. The signature whistle is low while they're in a free ocean and with long silent periods. Whistle rates can also change upon excitement levels. For example, they studied a bottlenose dolphin 
when they came into contact with each other. Researchers saw the rates increase when they were reunited with their mother or with other dolphins. So yes, signature whistles are mainly used for identification purposes, but also can be used to show their emotional state to the other bottlenose dolphin. <clears throat> According to scientist Acevedo Gutierrez from Dolphin Research Center, dolphins also use their signature whistles while hunting. When a dolphin comes upon potential prey, that dolphin will go ahead and begin to vocalize their signature whistle at higher rates than usual. This will be able to notify the other dolphins to come and help that original dolphin gather the prey. The larger the pod that are hunting for that prey, the more food that that pod will receive. So we are able to now identify that signature whistles are important for identification purposes. However, it is also important for dolphins to have a signature whistle to go ahead and express their state of being, whether it's stressed or excited, and to stay interconnected with their groups. In an environment where social groups are continuously changing, Bottlenose dolphins have configured specific adaptations and ways to sustain unity with each other. By adapting a signature whistle, they are able to stay connected within their pods even when far apart and are able to alert others for survival practices. 